हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप वालिया हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी मैनेजमेंट चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल टाइप्स ऑफ टूरिज्म प्रोडक्ट्स कल्चर बेस्ड अंडर द पेपर टूरिज्म प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू नो वट आर कल्चर बेस्ड टूरिज्म प्रोडक्ट्स दे विल ऑल्सो We come to understand about what are the categories of culture-based tourism products. They will also be aware about the types of tourists who consume cultural-based tourism products. The students will also be able to learn about the culture-based tourism product festivals in India. Dear students, cultural tourism is culture-based and is well-defined subcategory of tourism. It is pointing towards the forms of art. both in rural and urban settings and is born due to the movement of tourists from one part region or place to another for cultural attractions from their usual place of residence to gain information and indulge in cultural experience this tourism was recognized in the late 20th century and is classified under special interest tourism it is a tourism market for people who want to learn a new thing as and when they travel and thus adds educational element to it cultural tourism also brings in contemplation where a tourist compares contrast between the place of usual habitat and place which he and she is visiting it could be the daily stereotype the differences between countries and their systems work pleasure and leisure let us now discuss about the culture based tourism products cultural tourism products come under the man made tourism products and the reason behind their creation is pleasure leisure or the business man made tourism products has an array of sub divisions such as culture culture includes sites and areas of archaeological interest the perfect example is the bheem betka caves It also includes historical buildings and monuments like Taj Mahal and Jantar Mantar. Further, it also includes place, places of historical importance like the Red Fort which is in Delhi. It also includes museums and art galleries like Salar Jung Museum. This type of tourism also includes political and educational institutions like Sabarmati ashrams. it also has religious institutions in it like nizamuddin's dargah in delhi thus we see cultural tourism has variety of colors traditions art forms people their daily life celebrations festivals etc one of the best way cultural tourism was defined was the g killer while addressing the white house conference in the year 1995 we need to think about cultural tourism because really there is no other kind of tourism it's what tourism is people don't come to america for our airports people don't come to america for our hotels or the recreation facilities they come for our culture high culture low culture middle culture right left real or imagined they come here to see america the market is getting more supportive to cultural based tourism products as mass marketing is replaced by one to one marketing and the products are more tailor made as compared to the before most of the travelers are baptizing into special interest travelers and cultural based tourism are top 5 reasons for these travelers mobility technology is fueling and catalyzing the process through which modern day cultural tourist can use technology tools to fully customize their holidays the second one is the traditions traditions often are considered as a separate category of man made tourism product but it so closely related to culture based tourism product that it is almost difficult to segregate the two the subdivisions of traditions are like pilgrimages the examples include kailash mansarovar yatra then the second category is fairs and festivals 
like Suraj Kund Fair, Kettle Fair and Pushkar. The third one includes art and handicraft like Madhubani paintings and the Chanderis. The other element is like dance like Chahu, Bhangra, Gidha, Kathak. Then there is music like the Hindustani music or the Carnatic music etc. It also includes folklore like the Songoi. Also includes native lives and customs like the Shahra of Kulu which is world famous. Pilgrimages represented travels undertaken for the purpose of one's faith. It is often visit to a person, place or a shrine to reaffirm one's belief and faith. Pilgrimages are inseparable part of every faith. It is global in nature like visit to Vatican, visit for Hajj, Badrinath and Char Dham Yatras of India. There are handicrafts like batik painting, fulkari, birdi work, kantha work etc. Let us discuss about the segmentation of tourists who visit culture based tourism products. There are variety of classifications when it comes to tourists. One of the basic is who segregate the culture based tourism market on the basis of their motivation. And the answer is these are the tiniest group representing around 15% of tourist market and can be termed highly motivated cultural tourist and make sure that the reason is just culture. The second group which is around 30% is partly culture motivated tourists. They use culture along with visiting their friends and relatives for relaxation and fun. The third category consists of 20% of the market where culture is a strong accessory. The fourth category will have accidental cultural tourists represented by 20% of the tourists who themselves do not visit the cultural sites but are coaxed into by their friends, relatives and companions or the culture element has a close accessibility and hard to ignore. The fifth or the last which are about 15% of the market are the ones who never ever get motivated for by the cultural element. Segmentation can be done by the preferred activities of the cultural tourist and these activities can be purposeful cultural tourist. For these tourists cultural element is very important and is looking for deeper cultural tourism experience. <coughs> they want culture to question their kinds and thoughts, historical perspective, Museum visits, art galleries, temples and heritage areas are the places where they come in large numbers. Then the next one is tour amateur cultural tourists. Of course, culture is one of the elements yet person loves to wander, takes longer routes and does their favorite activity in between. They love visiting far flung areas. And the third one is the occasional cultural tourism. Here the culture tourism has an average role to play. The tourist indulge in culture experiences which are easier to achieve. Exploration will be there but not with the cultural zeal. The next one is the incidental cultural tourism. Here cultural tourism has par say no relation or role in the decision making process of travel. The person falls for attraction that fall in between his settled itinerary. Heritage theme parks are more preferred than temples and places of other religious importance. Let us now discuss about accidental cultural tourism. Cultural tourism has a tiny role or almost no role in the decision of travel but yet falls into cultural offerings and enjoy a deep experience. Dear students, let us now discuss about characteristics of culture based tourism products. It was in the year 2002 that International Council for Cultural and Historical Monuments gave a definition which meant that culture based tourism products are products which have its focus on cultural environment and deals with cultural historical sites of destinations, heritages and other products. This may include arts, crafts, local lifestyle, customs, traditions and visitation to museums, concerts, exhibitions, events and galleries. 
These products involve trips where the goal is to visit the places or palaces of happening which is a part of cultural heritage. This definition takes the culture-based tourism products to a new level beyond the tangibility, intangibility, mobility and immobility. Hence, not only the traditionalist approach which recognizes archaeological sites, historical monuments, architecture, art, ethnography, museum, temples, churches, but places of political institutions, places of writers, places of movements, etc. are all part of nature-based tourism products. Culture-based tourism products not only help to enjoy the present but provides an opportunity to relieve the past and celebrate past human achievements. Often it may lead to national pride, sense of self-worth, admiration and a sense of achievement may be derived out of them. Economically, also it brings in the money for the preservation and conservation of places that may be no use or not useful in commercial ways to the current populace. It may be a performing art that is about to die and gets a new breather by presenting it as culture-based tourism product. It may result in attracting infrastructural development and economic resurgence. Let us now discuss about activity-based cultural tourism products. The pilgrimages are also mobilities caused by religion, which is a major cultural outcome. There are numerous examples of mobilities because of pilgrimages. Be it Vatican attracting Catholics worldwide, Hajj calling Muslims globally, Kailash Mansarovar and Amarnath Yatras in Indian context, ethnification movements of Jews which make them travel to Israel etc. are a few to name. The package industry has touched these also and it has become a challenge that these culture based tourism products are not diluted by the globalized dressing that packaged tourism industry is trying to serve one and all. Preservation of local identities, respect for local cultures and differentiation of one culture from another is a challenge which these products have to stand out for. The walkway rope is too thin which deals with the preservation of the value system, balancing socio-cultural needs and acquire economic benefits too. Culture can be shown best by two circles. First is the inner circle which deals with products dealing with more basic or elements of culture, how people produce culture. Then the second one is the outer circle and that is related to the products which arise because of the way of life and products arising because of them. Inner circle can be further divided into two parts, products of tourism of art heritage which has relation with the past and tourism of the art it could be visual art like cinema the modern architecture literature etc the outer circle can also have two demarcations lifestyles which encompasses products such as belief system food and cuisine traditions folkways and folklore the second could be creativity sector such as fashion design entertainment etc based on these the cultural tourism products can be of various times. There are heritage tourism, then there is contemporary cultural tourism, then there is local cultural tourism. The next one is the rural cultural tourism. It also includes urban cultural tourism. Creative tourism can also be a part of this. And we can all say that arts tourism can also be termed as a form of this type of tourism. The culture-based tourism products may result due to archaeology, art, scientific belief, social technical interest. The culture-based tourism products may have their limitations like regional, national and internationals. Let us now discuss about features and factors that affect culture-based tourism products. The tourism products which are culture-based can have these three divisions. First, it satisfied specific needs of the tourist which develop at a particular stage of socio-economic development of the society. It helps to shape up the personality of the tourist indulging in the trip. Secondly, 
cultural values are an inseparable part of culture based tourism products. It is this which satisfies the cognitive and emotional part. Cultural values can be varied like monuments of cultural and historical importance, architectural places, places of worship, museums, etc. Or they can be pieces of artwork which may be painting, costumes, embroidery, cult objects, etc. And they can be periodic or episodic events like festivals, fairs, and celebrations, etc. The attractiveness or viability of the culture based tourism product is a question raised very often. It has to keep on exerting its size in the market, its USP or uniqueness, upgrading and retaining the attention of the travelers. Economic feasibility is important as market forces decide which product has to be in the market and which has to be left out. Dear students, let us now discuss about India's thrust on culture based tourism products. India is the cradle of the human race the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the grandmother of legend, and the great-grandmother of tradition. Our most valuable and most holistic materials are in the history of the man are treasured up in India only. And this was perfectly said by Mark Twain. India, India's history is dotted with culture and each period of Indian history has left a reminder to people which can serve as a culture-based tourist attraction. With a history of almost 5000 years, it can boost of one of the oldest civilizations. Each tourist who comes to India falls in either one or the other cultural tourism segmentation or becomes one once the tourist lands in India. Each person in India is an extended part of culture-based tourism product. India has written its success in the tourism industry heavily based on the culture based tourism products. The incredible India campaign, one of the most successful campaigns was heavily based on the culture based tourism products of India. India not only had many rulers but multiple dynasties who made India as their abode and left many a cultural footprints on the stands of time. They brought in a new form of culture along with them. The villages of India are symbolic of what true India was. The agrarian lifestyle, the changing seasons and its celebrations, the festivals depending on the farm produce, etc. are all culture based tourism products which the tourists come looking for. The multiple colors and the rainbow that India present in the form of cultural products is unbelievable. Old religious sites to forts and monuments, the lifestyles of people living in the snow-clad peaks to vibrant colorful lives of the people of Rajasthan, to the wellness and Ayurveda products of Kerala, to the mediative ashrams of Haridwar have provides many a forward and backward linkages to many a country to grow. These culture-based tourism products have more chances to grow as it can develop synergies with other sectors like horticulture, agriculture, transport, construction, etc. The art forms, crafts, tribal way of life, their belief, system, all are product of culture and can be well assimilated and sold for consumption. Each of the 29 states and 7 union territories have their share of culture based tourism products to be offered. The products provides enthusiasm, gaiety and color. Let us now discuss festivals as a culture based tourism product. Festivals are also offered as a culture based tourism product. The area of festivals is an area of inquiry because of the growing interest of the tourist in the festival product market. After being turned into a product, the festivals too have changed a lot as initially the festivals were related to calendar and linked to a certain season and heritage path. This has been altered a bit by extending the reach of the festivals as a tourism product. Now the event and festival as a product has been extended over the whole of calendar and in terms of geography to the whole of India. Incredible India campaigns, 
use these festivals images to invite the tourists. Festivals have their importance as they can extend the tourist season, peak season and even have a power to introduce a new season for destination. It also helps in establishment of regional identities. It is one of the fastest and growing part of leisure, business and tourism product market. The festivals are rising and their demand by tourists is also on the rise. It is developing a niche for itself. India will in time to come make itself a premier event and festival destination. India's diversity is a boon for its festival market. Every small occasion or happening is a celebration from the arrival of the rain to the harvest of the paddy invites a festival and leads to celebration. This is accompanied by music, dance and colors along with good food. The kums, rathyatras, etc. are a crowd puller. A whole new township emerges along the rivers to accommodate the windfall of the pilgrims and tourists. The Pushkar Mela, which was initially a trade fair, has now converted into a tourist cattle fair. The festival is not only becoming big for the numbers of cattle, but also for the numbers of tourists who are flocking to, the, to witness the, and experience this mega event. There is a football match happening, music, dance at a fair. There are competitions for longest mustaches, large disturbance, bridal competitions, etc. It is equally popular with the domestic as well as international tourists. Gujarat, with its Navratri and Ran Utsav of Kutch, is also heading in the game. The Kite Festival of Gujarat, Mudhera Dance Festival, Bhavanath Fair, Chitra Vichitra Fair, Tarnitar Fair, Bhadrapad Ambaji Fair, Navratri Festival, Lili Parikrama Fair, Shamlaji Fair, Kanvat Fair, Ran Utsav, Tanariri festival and Dangs Darbar festival keeps the Gujarat festival calendar very busy and full around the year. Ladakh festival is a fortnight program which many competitions like archery, painting, dancing, singing, etc. Goa has rebranded itself with its festive calendar giving the tagline Go Goa 365 days a year. It is becoming India's answer to the Rio de Janeiro. It has cashew and coconut festivals besides the Mardi Gras, Valentine, Christmas and other festivals. The Snake Boat Festival of the Slate of Kerala is an attraction not to be missed. The Grand Kerala Shopping Festival has almost completed a decade now. It returns the vat of goods to non-residents, maybe now GST too. The Durga Puja walks in the state of West Bengal also ushers a new chapter in the festival of a culture-based tourism product in the state of West Bengal. Even the new states like Chhattisgarh is promoting the Sirpur dance and music festivals near Raipur to showcase rich culture of this otherwise young state. Uttarakhand, utilizing its geographic location, is promoting adventure tourism festival at Koti Colony in Tiri. Slowly Tiri Lake will be developed Maharashtra is also fast catching up with Elephanta Festival, Pune Festival, Ganesh Utsav, Elora Festival, Kalidas Festival, Strawberry Festival, etc. The growth of festivals should also keep in mind the safety issues and awareness program are the key to success. Dear students, let us now summarize what we have discussed in this present module. In products which are based on culture, the tourists travel far from his usual place of habitat. He uses the product by looking at what he visits and does a lot of interpretation of what he experiences, sees and learns. The contemplation mode is very high. There are basically four kinds of tourism products based on culture to cater the four kinds of cultural tourism represented by same number of kinds of tourists. These types of tourists are five in number and the stakeholders should keep their focuses on more involvement of culture-based activities. Those tourists who are not fully motivated by culture should also be focused upon and be provided products which may appeal to them. The cultural tourism market is wide and it has a variety with cultural ecotourism, indigenous cultural tourism, eco-cultural tourism 
and socio-cultural tourism in the offering. The culture-based tourism product based on festival seems to be very promising and can do wonders. It is good that Indian states are fighting to get their share from this new kind of niche product which will provide a more well laid out calendar and can engage the international as well as domestic tourist for a longer period of time. It can also increase, reinvent or extend or maybe innovate a new peak season for the tourism industry. The constituents of the culture based tourism market has to be well laid out, matched with the needs of the customers and then offered so that it provides a high level of customer satisfaction. And th with these words, I sum up this module. Thank you.